Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode here in the Fish Room. Today we're going to be talking about something extremely, extremely important, uh, and that is going to be the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen cycle is something that all fish hobbyists, all fish keepers, or anybody who's trying to keep something alive in an aquarium needs to know. Now, with this whole process, what we're going to be explaining, or what I'm going to be explaining, is uh, the process of how to convert everything over into safer levels. Now very first thing that you're going to start seeing inside of a new aquarium is going to be ammonia. Ammonia is produced by fish waste and also the food that starts to decay inside the water. Even at very, very low levels or even just a trace of this ammonia inside of that water, you're going to actually uh, start causing harm to the fish as this is going to rapidly uh, produce their breathing and also it might even cause a little bit of gill plate problems for them as well. Now the way we can convert this over is by adding aerobic bacteria into the water like stability or nitrogen out or a couple other products we actually have here in the store as well. Uh, now what that does is as it starts to convert it over, it converts it over into a little bit of a lesser uh, form of bad stuff in the water which is called nitrites. Now nitrites specifically are going to be something that's actually just as toxic as ammonia uh, but what this is going to do is this is going to actually start harming the hemoglo hemoglobin uh, inside of the fish uh, which is in the bloodstream. Uh, this is not going to allow the blood to actually carry or uh, move the oxygen throughout the fish's body. Now when that happens, this fish is going to be very lethargic, they're not going to be moving too much, and this is actually going to rapidly produce different types of diseases and whatnot inside of the aquarium for your fish. This can be a very stressful process for them. Now, from nitrites, we move into one of the last stages, which are called nitrates. Nitrates, uh, you can have certain levels of nitrates inside of your water, and it doesn't have to be harmful. If you're ever working with reef tanks and whatnot, a little bit of nitrates might be helpful to your coral. So with nitrates, when you have nitrates inside of your water, what this is gonna do is this is actually gonna, uh, in high levels, stunt your fish's growth. So your fish may not even grow anymore. So this is something you might wanna check regularly. Uh, as we actually sell test kits here, which is something that I am going to go over with you guys. Uh, this is our freshwater master test kit. We are going to be testing a freshwater uh, system that we have here in our stores. So we'll be actually be able to see what our systems are reading here in our store as well. Uh, and the last thing is how to remove the nitrates. So going from ammonia, which is extremely toxic, uh, to nitrites, which can be fairly just as toxic as the ammonia, and then into nitrates, uh, which is going to actually can be very toxic in high levels. The uh, way you get rid of all of that altogether is by actually adding aquarium plants, doing frequent water changes, making sure you're changing out your filter cartridges or your filter medias or whatever you are using inside of there. And also you're gonna be wanting to make sure that you are doing a little bit of gravel vacuuming so you can get the detritus out of the gravel or substrate. Now the way that we're going to do all of this is that I already have a couple of test tubes set up here. Uh, with these test tubes, we're going to make sure that we are going to go through it thoroughly, make sure that you guys are aware because when you are testing nitrates, you do have to shake that bottle for a minute for sure. Uh, if you don't shake that bottle for a minute, the liquids are separated in there and you're not going to get an accurate reading. So we're going to try and get our most accurate reading here inside of the fish room. All right, so the first thing we are going to be testing is ammonia. There's two bottles for ammonia. I like to give each bottle a little bit of a shake just in case they've been sitting around or a little bit too long. Uh, first thing is, is make sure you are reading the instructions that are both either on the bottle or you can just look at the number amount of drops that are going to be located on the bottle as well. So I'm going to hit the first test tube with eight drops. Make sure you keep the bottle straight up and down, that way you get all your drops in unison with each other. Now these tests do take a moment or two to actually get a full reading, so what we like to do is we give them a little bit of a shake, and then you're going to place it right down, give it about five minutes, that's when the colors are going to fully convert over. Next one is going to be nitrites. Now with nitrites, this is also going to test that little bit less toxicity. Give that bad boy a little bit of a shake. Set her down. And remember, like I said before, making sure that we are test, uh, shaking nitrates bottle more vigorously.
Bottle number two is the one that has a separated liquid. So this one, you got to make sure that you are shaking it for at least 30 seconds. As hard as you can. Don't break your arm doing this though. And now this is the hard part, shaking it for one minute. Now this gets as much accuracy in the testing as possible. If you only shake it for a couple of seconds, it's not going to show you anything inside the water. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that this is mixing fairly well. Now the water we are testing is going to be a water from our plant room. Uh, so this is one of my, my favorite places to test because I know with all those plants in there, it's going to be removing all of those nitrates and all of those bad things inside the water column. So we're probably going to have one of our best results in this testing right here. Now I'm testing the pH, making sure that it is going to be within the right parameters that we want to keep our systems at. And that is how you test your water. And if you guys ever wanted to do this at home and test your water at home, we do, like I said before, sell our master test water kits here. Uh, and if you don't want to spend the buck on this and do it yourself, uh, you can actually bring us in a sample of water and we do do free water testings here in our location. So you can stop on by, ask us as many questions as you need to, make sure that your system is ready to go for the fish that you want to keep. Stay tuned for the next one.